mathematics syllabus d paper 1 now the question is evaluate 3 multiply by 1 whole 4 upon 7 so how do we evaluate is just we have to simplify it we multiply it and we add this so 7 was the 7 and plus 4 is um, 11 upon 7 quite easy now 11 multiplied by 3 is 33 over 7 or since the denominator is less than the numerator so we write in mixed fraction so in order to write mixed fraction we divide 33 by 7 so 7 5 the 7 5 the 35 so 7 4 the 28 so it is 5 and the answer is 4 whole 5 upon 7 or we can write here answer is 4 whole 5 upon 7 now in part b we have to evaluate 1.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 so 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 and we can remove the point after writing 1 underneath it and the 0 and then 1 underneath to the decimal and 0 so it is 3 upon 10 or 1 point 13, 13 upon 10 because decimal was in between 1 and 3 so it is 13 upon 10 multiply by 3 upon 10 so it becomes 39 upon 13 3 is 39 upon 100 or it become 0 0.39 because there is 2 0 in denominator so we remove them and put the decimal before the 2 digit so it is 0 0.39 now similarly in part b we have to write the values in order starting with the smallest it is a bit uh, difficult to find which number is smallest so we just make the denominator same we try to make the denominator same or we can simplify it so here if we make the denominator same it's become a big problem because it is 30 it is 10 it can be make 30 and it is 25 it is hard to make 30 so we do it uh, our different method it is it can be right 1 upon 3 multiplied by 10 and 0 0.03 is remain as it is and 1 point 1 over 10 is as it is 5 percent mean 5 upon 100 and 2 upon 25 can be written as 2 upon 25 okay this 25 can be converted into 100 by just multiplying by 4 so we multiply by 4 here and multiply by 4 here so it become 8 and it will become 100 so in denominator if we have 10 100 thousand so it is quite easy to convert them into decimal that is why we uh, convert it into 100 now it is it can be right 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 10 or 0 0.03 as it is it can be written as 0 0.1 and it can be written as 0 0.05 and this can be written as 8 upon 100 now the next step 1 upon 3 mean 0 0.3333 so we just write 0 0.33 and divide by 10 this 10 is there and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 so 1 upon 3 is 0 0.33 multiply 1 upon 10 mean 10 is di uh, divided by 0 uh, 0 0.3 divided by 10 and it is 0 0.03 as it is 0 0.1 is as it is 0 0.05 is as it is and it becomes 0 0.08 because 2 0 is here 102 we put decimal before two numbers so one is 8 and other is we put is 0 because there was no other number 
okay this can be written as 0 0.03 okay because this is your jump here after removing this zero and it is 0 0.03 it is 0 0.1 it is 0 0.05 and it is 0 0.08 now all the number are in decimal so we can classify which number is smallest and which is higher so 0 0.03 is, is the smallest number so we write 0 0.03 is smallest and then 0 0.05 or 0 0.33 0 0.03 0 0.03 here 0.03 0 0.03 here and then 0 0.05 after that 0 0.08 and then 0 0.1 so 0 0.03 comes from 0 0.03 it is as it is 0 0.033 comes from 1 upon 30 so it is 1 upon 30 0 0.05 comes from so it is 5 percent and then 0 0.08 comes from 2 upon 5 so it is 2 point and 0 0.1 comes from 1 upon 10 so the answer is the smallest is 0 0.03 as given in question it is 1 upon 30 it is 5 percent it is 2 upon 5 and then finally 1 upon 10 now we move to question 3 it is a question 3 it is in june 2019 paper 1 question number 1 so we have to evaluate 4 upon 7 divided by 5 upon 8 quite easy 4 upon 7 it decimal divide must be with convert to multiply and we shift the number denominator become numerator and numerator become denominator now it cannot be cut so we just write 4 is the 32 upon 35 so this is the answer 32 upon 35 is the answer and then part b evaluate under root 64 under root 64 can be written 8 multiplied by 8 minus 3 125 can be written as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 or if you don't know you can just take lcm 64 to lcm is 2 3 is a 6 2 to the 4 2 1 is a 2 2 6 is a 12 and then 2 8 the 16, 2 4 the 8, 2 to the 4, and 2 1 the 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 multiplied by 2, 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 two becomes 64. So we need the pair because its root is cancelled with the square so 2 to the 4 is 8 multiplied by 8 is equal to 64 or 8 to the square is equal to 64 so we write 8 is square that is 5 to the power 3 minus 5 so and we take LCM of 125 as well. So 5, 5 to the 10, 5 to the 25, and then 5, 5 to the 25, and then 5 to the 5. So the factor of this become 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 125, or 5 to the power cube is equal to 125. So this cube is cut with this cube and this square cut with this root. So 8 minus 5, so answer become 3. So here it is. Here is the answer. Quite easy. Okay, so it is all about this question. And uh, the next video you will see number of questions related to question, uh, paper 1, which definitely help you to do better in your examination so stay with us thanks